Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Land Tries A Long Way Down. It's an early access deck building roguelite RPG I had my eye on. Came out in Steam new releases. This is review code provided by developer. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and it, again, anytime I'm scanning new releases list, it pretty much goes something like this. Anime, anime, anime. Really bizarre fusion of anime and Second World War history game that might actually be a good fit and this was has been on the list for a bit i have played zero percent so i am i am eager to check it out and see what's going on here sam sam can you hear me well your body's in front of me oh sorry i should have been clicking this probably <laughs> the spirits told me they found you too gray to lead you onwards that or too rebellious i'm not sure i'm dead he's he's from new zealand in my head Yes, but that's the least of your concerns right now. I'm gonna try to guide you through limbo. The spirits told me that some lost souls become complacent. I convinced them to steal some weapons and bring them to you. Cards! You recognize them. We use similar ones. You should be able to face the lost souls as we did when you were alive. But here you will do it while looking them straight in the eyes. Papa Legba, watch over me. <laughs> Music in the background. Extreme Goosebumps theme song vibes. Presented for the approval of the Midnight Society. Escape the dungeon. Can be done. Try to find some cover. This place isn't safe. Who knows what'll happen if you're caught by a lost soul. Okay. I choose to move to Pile of Slabs. Take all, please. So one thing I know uh, that I've seen from the... Uh, footage of the game, like trailers, is it is kind of like a little maze situation, and then you use the cards that you get to build your way out of the maze, which I thought was kind of a, a cool twist on the formula. So these cards can shape the world around you. They're not going to give us too many options here, which seems appropriate. Um, I don't know if we can use that to like avoid encounters, or maybe get to some secrets that would otherwise be inaccessible, but it seems like a, a nifty way to, to handle the actual like floor generation okay players turn poke linked to pointed stick deals 10 damage to target thrust swiftly deals 20 damage swiftly deals 20 damage increases targets attack by 25 percent for two turns swiftly deals 20 damage you have 80 hp it appears you will play hardening Okay, well, let's play Thrust. Let's swiftly deal some damage. Uh, oh, we have three action points. Okay, I think I, I'm seeing it. I don't know what swiftly means, though. I was hoping maybe it affected, like, order or something like that. Is that what you're playing? I think it is what you're playing. We've drawn three more cards. We will play Thrust again. <laughs> oh, he lived! All right. Uh, maybe with this, we have this every turn because of the fact that it's attached to our deck or attached to our weapon. That's interesting. You've been killed. Rewards. Blessed attack. Deals 20 damage to the target and increases caster's attack by 15 for two turns. Okay. Pretty standard so far. You can retrieve the cards dropped by Lost Souls and add them to your deck on the appropriate altar. All right. Understood. We'll move towards what I assume is one of these altars. Armory. Please add it. Done. <laughs> equipment. The contents of your bag follow you everywhere. Don't I know it, brother. You can change the equipment you wear at certain points. If you die, you'll lose everything. Think carefully. Well, all I have is a pointy stick, so I think I'm okay right now. So we can add these, too. Armor Blessing. For now, like, it might not be the most... Oh, maybe we can't because it's the tutorial? I mean, it definitely, it hits us with, like, looking like we can add it, but regardless. These don't go in, like, Link spells, do they? No. All right. I see another soul. It doesn't seem hostile. Try to parlay with it. You have the same goal. Maybe you can join forces. Can I build this way? No, they... Maybe build it inside the checkered boxes, you know? I'm trying, I'm getting greedy, I'm trying to build around the tutorial instead of actually going through the motions. Marcus is completely lost. Funny clothes, where are you from? Roman Gaul, Aquitania. 
Sounds vaguely familiar. Must be in Europe. Okay. There's some time... Some time dilation stuff happening here. The afterlife takes form to be convenient to the soul it crosses. That voice. Is that lettuce? It's a phone kale. Easy to get confused. Reward. Helmet of the Ram. I will take that. We've also gotten a new character. Hold on. Can I... Equip... The helmet. Apparently not. Maybe at, a, at the armory would be my guess. Here you are. It's the dungeon master. You're the one who has my cards, and I thought I alone could use them. Thief, you will pay the price for messing with the dungeon master. Oh! That guy's using my cards against me. I'm not, I'm not reading these. Let's fight. <laughs> All right, now we have two dudes. I appreciate you taking the heat. Stay back and let me fight. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought we could swap characters, to be honest. So you have a minus 15% defense. So I, I can't swap, huh? I can swap. I just had a card targeted. I don't know. I don't know. I've given some kind of power blessing. All right. Now, do you have three each or do you have three total? Heavy blow. Deals 15 to 30 damage to the target. Let's do it. Okay. That used two. Ah, so we, it's, it's a total. It's a total thing. Fair enough. So we don't get three with each. Opponent's turn. I've taken 32 damage. You do do more damage. There's no question about that. Why don't we go ahead and thrust? Excuse me if you could just... Thank you. And we gotta do 48 damage. Let's do that again. And then we have to do 18 damage. I'm sorry to inform... Oh, I have two energy left. I had four energy that... Maybe you got one extra energy per turn. And I didn't notice. Anything's possible, brother. You really let him live with one HP, huh? Plus 20%. Okay. Please heal this man. And then kill him with the heavy blow. Beautifully done. We received another helmet and 75 chocolate sprinkles. Veni, Vidi, and Julius couldn't have done any better. Julius who? <laughs> Dr. J? Sam, you found some powder. You can upgrade your cards like I taught you. Use the altar right in front of you. Ah, yes, the workshop. Let's upgrade Thrust because it was highlighted. Done. Whoa, you look like we know what you're doing. Are you a priest? Something like that. Mercury be praised. I'm sticking to you like a magistrate to a buffet. Good one. Um, hold on. Just move me. I know this is probably not where we should be going. But I'm like, why not go here and then put our helmet on? Plus five defense. Restores 15 health points to the target each turn during two turns. And why don't you... Excuse me. Oh, you already have a helmet. We both have helmets. I see. All right. Well, that's fine by me. All right, where to? Um, I'm assuming the glowing portal is like our exit, so... Oh, they want me to build here. Fair enough. <laughs> That's fair. We should probably go get the, the slabs, huh? Oh, I can't go through that. I thought I could go through that, but I'm a fool. Only I could screw up the tutorial. I'm aware of this. Okay, go ahead and take that. Pile of slabs. Take all. And then what the heck is this? Apparently nothing. Go here or here? What is this? Wall destruction. Remove all walls around the slab. Okay, so we've opened up like a, a path for ourselves to take here. I understand. It's a, it's a novel approach to take. Oh! 
to let you be in charge of the floor generation. I am a little paranoid that I might screw it up and uh, get locked out of being able to finish a floor, but I'm assuming that's the kind of thing they've designed around. Doesn't seem like a very fun way to die, but I'm not saying it's not possible. Uh, I feel like I could just build around you. Let's let's try to build around you. Oh, don't don't gate me off. And I guess uh, it was a foolish thing to be concerned about in the first place because we're drawing more every turn anyway. Can't help but think I might be uh, not playing this in the exact optimum fashion, but uh, I have opened up my path to the portal. Don't do it. Don't block me out. Look at this. He's incredible. <laughs> Success, Magical Scepter. You may have some nifty spells up your sleeve, but what are you without your Legionnaire? Sam, still there? Good, I think you're alone, more or less. You should meditate with me, review your life, that's why you're here. It's a lot of, a lot of lore going on. I, I respect it for building in a story. It has taken me a little bit by surprise, though. Dambala's Chamber. You okay? Not great. Take your time to prepare yourself before you continue. To head deeper into limbo, step onto the green slab. Okay, well, we should equip a magical scepter. Instead of a pointy stick, I think. And then for cards, we can now... Okay, so we start with a defensive attack. Okay. The thrust... Oh, I can't, I can't put you in there. Why can't I put you in there? Maybe there's already too many thrusts? It says 12 of 15. Built... Oh, these are already in there. I'm just trying to move them to the bottom. It's just the way the UX is displayed. I get it now. These are cards that are not in our deck. Okay. No, these are also in our deck. Those are just the available cards. Every game's got its own UI quirks. Let's go. I'm ready. Kill this monster. Mini Paros. Don't activate campfire. Kill five monsters. Activate campfire zero of three. I do see a problem with some of our mission objectives, to be honest. Okay. What are you? Pile of slabs. Treasure chest. Some enemies as well. There's an enemy. Okay. Let's just, uh, we'll start with this. It's like the most valuable piece ever invented. And, uh... This should be okay. You'll take a move of your own. Excuse me, sir. I needed that. I needed that mightily. But I guess you did save us a, a slab at the end of the day anyway. So let's grab this. We have a fight for it. We do have a fight for it. Just getting used to the UI quirks. You are a skeleton. You are going to do cursed attack. 31 to 42 damage. Are you insane? Blessed attack. Well, if we're gonna do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do this first. Because it gives us a buff. Then we can thrust. And then we can strike. You will live and do 30 damage to me. Which is not amazing. And our attack has become much worse. Let's start here. Ah, I didn't want to kill you. <laughs> Deterioration. Decreases target's defense for three turns. And pile of slabs. I bring this up not to be rude. And I mean, I mean that sincerely. I hope I, I, everything I should come across is pretty sincere in these videos. Um, the cards that say lower defense during three turns. 
It's just a localization quirk. They should say, and I'm not saying this to be pedantic, it's just that these are the kinds of games where uh, pedanticness, you know, it, it can make the difference between life and death in the game because of the way you read the cards and interpret them, right? Um, that's fine, we will fight. Um, it should say four three turns. And what's the difference? I don't know, it's subtle. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those dumb things about English that I'm like, they kind of mean the same thing, but also, you would never say during three turns. Maybe I'm being pedantic, but the kind of stuff, it, it can get on your nerves a little bit in, uh, in a game like this where it's relevant, you know? Okay. I think we should do a defensive attack. And then also an armor blessing on ourselves so our defense is higher. I tend not to respect buffs, but like, there's still a lot of damage, honestly. Player's turn. Increases target's attack. Honestly, I think I, this is a thrust. Thrust. And if we had one more turn, we would have struck. I could have healed, but I was like, I don't really... Uh, I don't want to take the risk that we let them get one more attack in as a result. Deterioration. De decreases target's attacks. I honestly don't really want to add that right now. I don't recognize these writings on the walls. Other souls have already given form to this place. Shouldn't it have changed when I came along? You're not that important. I like that dialogue. I like that dialogue a great deal. Um, we got problems here. How the heck are we gonna... I guess... You could build it like this. Like this. I'm trying to use our crappy tiles. That doesn't bother me. What are you? Trap. Hurts anyone that moves through it. Very interesting indeed. Well, this was uh, a lucky draw for us. Feather feet. They're boots? They are boots. Um, let's go back to the armory then and put the boots on. What do they give us? Altruism. Heals everyone for 10 and then a little bit of extra defense. Honestly, I appreciate that. I feel like I probably would have done the same thing. This seems like two enemies. It is two enemies. And they act first. We're not gonna die, but that sucked. Uh, I don't really want to heal everybody for 10. <laughs> um, I think we will thrust. Uh, and the front unit, I don't think it matters. And I, I, out of these, I will do an armor blessing. And maybe just like, uh, just a basic strike. That was a very high roll on that one, at least. I, I want the defensive attack, because that's what will probably get a kill. Okay, on this one, I think we have to give ourselves better attack. So that this does more damage. And then... You know, I suppose we probably should have used the altruism on us first to remove our curses. I just didn't know the nomenclature. What's a Is a debuff and a curse, are they the same thing? Maybe yes, maybe no. Still shouldn't be at risk of death, but... Okay, so this will kill you. You can't be killed. So I think we remove all your buffs. And then just strike you. And we'll save the defensive attack for a, a future turn. I'm starting to piece together like a little bit more uh, strategy. Still pretty bad. I'm also trying to figure out, can I kill... I don't think I can kill you. 21? No, I can definitely kill you. We must have high-rolled that like crazy. Armor Blessing is okay. Banishment, I think it's okay. Now that, now that I'm playing around with more strategy and not merely dragging attacks onto enemies, I'm like, okay, I see, I see more of the 
the strategy involved here, I suppose. Um, go ahead and put this here. Let's see if we can trick the enemy into walking into this trap as we proceed. And we'll just stand right here just to, just to mess with them. We'll see how it goes. Beautiful. I mean, it's not, not particularly uh, impressive from a strategic standpoint, but hey, I get it. And I, I, I respect that it's doing something new. Right now, it hasn't quite grabbed me the way that a game like Slay the Spire has grabbed me. But I will also admit, Slay the Spire didn't grab me the first time I played it either. Um, you know, at first I was like, ah, maybe I could make like 10 episodes of this for YouTube. Then I played 500 times. So, I think that there is, uh, just get them. Uh, I think there's something to be said for the fact that, you know, it, there's a lot of, we're in like a deck builder renaissance right now. And, uh, Betrayal. Uh... All of them are doing something a little bit different. With varying results, I might add. This one, um... It kind of strikes me as being a little bit in between a pure deck builder and a more maximalist, like, strategy RPG, RPG style of thing. And it's not the fault of the game, but to be honest, I'm more of a, uh... I'm more of the minimalistic style dude when it comes to that. So I think that's where I'm having some struggles right now, but, uh... I definitely see what they're going for, and I'm actually, I'm a little into it. I like this element, the element of, like, building your own maze. And we're at least gonna kill this boss and see what's up with that. Um, I would like to get to the campfire, because I think that that will help me a great deal. I don't really want to build to this guy yet, though, so I think we'll just end our turn. Because he could move over and hit us here. You did take my best piece, but, you know, no harm, no foul. I will fight you. You you do not fear me. Get another action point during your turn. But I am a little worried about our HP now. <laughs> Hopefully because I walked into you, I go first. Maybe that's how it works. Alright, you have no blessings, which is awesome. Um, definitely does not seem like we can kill you, so we will do an armor up and one attack. Oh, we critted! Very nice. No blessings. You love to see it. Betrayal. Draw one card, increase the damages of an enemy by 15%. Well, you should start with draw. And I make it increase this guy's damage. That way, we can kill him, and the blessing is not relevant. I'm seeing the intersecting strategies. Minus 20. Still not a great turn for us, but I think we might as well just uh, go for the attacks. I think you should just keep smacking, dude. We're doing so much damage. Where, where's that coming from? I love it. I just don't know where it's coming from. Uh, send him. So yeah, I mean, I, out of all the deck builders I played, this really feels like it has like the art and some of the mechanics of a Griff Lance. Um, which is the first game we did in Northern Lion Tries of, by the way. Let's get one extra action point. Um, and the mechanics are definitely a little bit more spiry, I think. Uh, and I'm still trying to, to figure out... Yeah, I know. I'm still trying to figure out uh, where I sit on that, if that makes sense. I think we would like this to go here. So we can grab those slabs. Um... Ooh, you just popped out of the... I guess you were blocking the slab, so that's fair enough. Um, but it, it definitely... Out of all the deck builders we played recently, I think this is probably one of the more engaging ones, to be honest. We have a huge debuff. Let's... I, armor up, I think, has been pretty helpful. Um, and then I think, you know, your power up doesn't hurt. Give him a quick smack. See how he feels about it. HP's not looking great, though, I'll admit. Defensive attack is our, that's our real money maker right here. So let's buff ourselves again. It could kill him. 62 to 72, it, it critted! <laughs> or maybe it had an elemental effect because he's a skeleton or something. So good, dude. Thank you. Pile of slabs. I will take all, thank you. 
Maybe some of them are not great. Like, what is this? The fallen king can curse its prey? All right. That would be an example of one that doesn't seem that good. <laughs> so what's my game plan? Well, I've been trying to... Uh, get to this guy with more HP. Unfortunately, it has not worked out very well for me in the past here. Yeet. Yeet. My god, he's a genius. Maybe that'll open up the campfire to us at least. Excuse me, why? Thank you. I would like to walk to the campfire. All right. We want to get to Mini Paros. What is this? Sarcophagus. It's not your day. The fallen king can curse his prey. Oh! This is a problem. Um. Yeah, this, this, this is not very good at all for us, so I think we're going to have to fight the Fallen King. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the Fallen King, he can curse his prey. He chose not to curse us. It's a blessed day. Um, so we're going to go here and then fight this guy, and that's probably where we're going to end the video. Something like this. Don't, th don't take my wall destruction card. That's a very valuable card. The Fallen King tried to curse me. Too bad, brother. I'm on my way. Uh, there's a chance we could die here. But I'm assuming this is like the boss of the floor. Let's see what he's got going on. 250 HP. He's going to do 58 to, 80 to 63 damage to me. That doesn't leave me a whole lot of survivability. So I'm going to armor up. I am actually going to heal, and then I'm just going to... That's not power, right? That's armor? Defense, yeah. Um, honestly, I think we should use altruism right off the bat. I guess we only use it on ourselves, okay. Um, even if it worked on him, it would have healed him for 10, but he can't overheal. So it seemed like the right time to, to take some advantage of that. Um, very simple. We're going to Divine Blessing. And then defensive attack, 62 to 72. But it had some elemental effect, perhaps. He's getting low rolls. I think we're doing okay right now. Banishment removes all blessings. He has no blessings. We will just do uh, three thrusts. Oh, he's toasted, dude. And here I thought this, this might be difficult. No need to get too fancy with it. Backfire. Deals 36 to 54 damage to the target, but 11 to 14 damage to the caster. We've received a falchion and a recipe for shield bash. We'll go to the next level. So we did beat the boss. Okay. I don't know how long a run is, to be fair. But let's play it as if we were going to keep going. We would go to our inventory. We'd probably equip the falchion. Well, maybe not. It's worse on attack. It's better on whatever the top icon is. And comes with Earthquake. New cards. Ah, workshop. So what would we upgrade? I mean, after all that, I think we possibly would have upgraded. Like, our defensive attack seems really good. Uh, I don't know why I can't accept it, actually. Maybe it's special for some reason. Armor Blessing. Upgraded... It's not bad. It costs 74 powder. Pretty expensive. Let me guess, like, a, if you upgrade, like, a uh, a thrust, maybe it's a little cheaper. 300! <laughs> Clearly, my card evaluation is not correct. Anyway, let's, let's say we would have upgraded a Divine Blessing for better attack damage. And we could... Up oh, powder can also upgrade equipment. I did not know that. We have no allies. Probably could have searched for some. Anyway... Uh, it seems like A Long Way Down has got some interesting stuff going on. I'm a big fan, to be honest, of the, uh, like, maze mechanics. I guess it's an, an interesting way to kind of, like, liven up the target-to-target -target, uh, sections of the game instead of just, like, I fought you, I fought you, I fought you. Uh, I think it's a nice uh, dimple 
in the strategic layer. Still not quite grabbed. I think it has a lot of competition in this genre, but keep in mind it is in early access, so uh, the world is their oyster. A long way down, and hey, perhaps a long way up as well. For now, thanks for watching. Again, this product was provided by uh, the developers for free. Thank you for that. If you enjoyed looking at the game, check it out on Steam. There'll be a link located in the video description below. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And if you like this and other Northern Lion tries, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!